My name is Rashawn. I'm from Eritrea, a country in Africa. My family was forced to flee to Sudan when violence broke out during Eritrea's struggle for independence. Ultimately, our family received refugee status and resettled in the United States. So who are refugees? And how do refugees receive the rare opportunity to rebuild their lives in the U.S.? A refugee is a person who is outside his or her country and is unable or unwilling to return because of a well-founded fear of persecution. This fear may be based on race, religion, nationality, social group, and or political opinion. Many refugees face the possibility of being killed if they don't flee. Of the millions of refugees worldwide, far less than 1% resettle in a new country. Some decide to return to their home countries and some are able to integrate into the host countries where they initially sought refuge. But for many people, resettlement is the only option. For my family, due to the outbreak of violence, it was not possible to stay in Sudan or return home to Eritrea. The only path to safety was to resettle in a new country. The United States has historically been a leader in refugee resettlement. Each year, the U.S. president determines the annual refugee admission ceiling in consultation with Congress. The U.S. also welcomes other people fleeing persecution. These humanitarian immigrants include those granted asylum, special immigrant visa holders from Afghanistan and Iraq, and Cuban and Haitian entrants. Many organizations and agencies work together to keep the U.S. refugee admissions program safe and secure. The United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, or UNHCR, referred my family for resettlement to the United States. Resettlement Support Centers, or RSCs, are run by nonprofit organizations in partnership with the U.S. government. In our RSC interviews, we explain the story of how and why we fled Eritrea. Our family was also interviewed by U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, or USCIS. It was their role to decide if we met the qualifications for resettlement. Throughout this process, we underwent rigorous security vetting, including screening by the FBI, the Department of Homeland Security, and the State Department. Refugees are screened more thoroughly than any other type of entrant to the United States. From the time a refugee is first referred for resettlement, it can take many months or even years before they arrive in the U.S. After this long process, our family was determined to be eligible for resettlement. We were so happy to finally receive the chance to move to a safe home. But first, we needed to complete medical screening, receive immunizations, and attend cultural orientation. Once all overseas vetting is complete, eligible refugees are approved for travel to the U.S. in a process coordinated by the International Organization for Migration. Until this moment, many refugees don't know which new city or town they will call home. Refugees are resettled in states and communities across the U.S. Resettlement agencies are nonprofit organizations that are funded by the U.S. government and private donors to help support refugees when they reach the United States. When we arrived, resettlement agency staff met us at the airport. They brought us to our new apartment, which was prepared with basic furniture, household supplies, and food. Federal agencies coordinate with states to make resources and services available to newly arrived refugees and other humanitarian immigrants. The United States funds many initial services through the State Department. Others are funded through the Office of Refugee Resettlement within the Department of Health and Human Services. Resettlement agencies, state and county agencies, community-based organizations, schools, and healthcare providers 
all work together to provide these services. Local communities, businesses, and faith-based organizations also offer support, including by volunteering their time, providing donations, and helping to create a welcoming environment for their new neighbors. With help from our resettlement agency and their partners, my siblings and I enrolled in school. My parents signed up for English language classes, received work authorizations, and applied for jobs. Other refugee services include opportunities to improve economic well-being by building personal finance skills, increasing career readiness, preparing for higher education, and even launching small businesses. Refugees also participate in health and wellness programs, including support with accessing healthcare. Special services available to youth include family, academic, and mentoring activities. Elders receive additional integration supports. My parents secured employment shortly after arriving, and eventually they were able to buy a home for our family. After one year in the United States, refugees apply to become permanent residents. Around five years after arrival, they may apply to become American citizens. Refugees are your neighbors, business owners in your community, and your children's classmates. As for me, I am now a member of the Switchboard team. Every day, I help improve services that enable newcomers to thrive, just like me and my family.